I'm the best. I'm the fucking best. None of you can make that fold. If someone just wants to show you one card in that scenario, oh my God, I hope they it made a good fold. I can't okay, breathe. Just let it go by you like water off your back because uh, you tilt. never know what that other card was and they're they're way. I don't know if, if if Nick was allowed to choose the card, but if they're picking the card, they're usually hiding something from you. Sounds like Charles picked the card in this scenario, though. The nuts here for Aaron. He's not had a lot of good spots to make money today. Just calls Nick Airball on the turn. And now I feel like Nick's going to be put in a similar spot that he was in last hand. 20 large. 20,000, really big bet. <laughs> again. And Nick yeah, thinks it's happening again here. <sighs> the second fold is harder to make than the first. It's going to be so tilting when I make a bad fold and then a bad call. <laughs> the zig and the zag, right, Dave? <laughs> What's that? The zigging and the zagging. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's kill it. I need to zig more, I think. Yeah. This is a giant bet. I agree. Yeah. Aaron, do you have a heart? Ace of hearts? I planned on calling you, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Dumb fucking hand. It's always so easy to say when we can see the cards. But this is another player who hasn't been wildly out of line tonight. And this is a very big bet. The bet for 60% of one's chips to reeks of strength to me. What you have? I should go home. <laughs> Same situation. I don't know what the fuck to do. All right, like 30 seconds and I'll decide. Nick, the second hand in a row, deep in the tank. This one he calls off and undoes his good work from the last hand, unfortunately, for him. $59,000 pot heading toward Aaron, who's waited for a good spot today, hasn't found a lot of them, but finds a good one there. And he's telling me he's a good one. No, it was a good one. 
For you. For you. I'm just saying. It's a good thing.